cancer, but with their with their side effects of their chemo. And so he his ears perked up at that immediately. And at the same time, CBD was just starting to emerge. And one of my friends said, hey, just look into CBD and cancer and see what you find. And I started researching that and I found so many stories of people who were using medical cannabis and CBD who have cancer and were experiencing relief. And then I started to look into studies. I went to a medical cannabis conference. I started to get in touch with medical cannabis doctors and ask them what their experience had been. And I just went straight down the rabbit hole. And I, I was, you know, I, I was really impressed by what I found in, in medical cannabis. And then with the mushrooms, um, I had already known that medicinal mushrooms could be helpful for the immune system. That was something that was already in my consciousness, but I didn't know a lot about them. And when I started to go down the route, the route of researching mushrooms, I found so much information there is about medicinal mushrooms being used in cancer hospitals and other parts of the world and people using it to help their immune systems. And it was really, really interesting. Okay, so explain to people as, as if they don't know the difference, may, hopefully most people know. So what's the difference between cannabis, CBD, and medicinal mushrooms? And are medicinal mushrooms different than magic mushrooms? Yeah, so cannabis, CBD is part of the cannabis plant. It's a compound within the cannabis plant, and it's a compound that doesn't get you high. So THC is the compound that most people are familiar with inside the cannabis plant that does get you high. So they're two different molecules that are both within the same plant. The mushrooms, the medicinal mushrooms, all of the ones that my dad is taking and most of the ones that I write about in the book are completely non-psychedelic. So there's, you know, when people think about mushrooms, they usually think of grocery store mushrooms, like button mushrooms, portobellos, creminis, or magic mushrooms that are going to take you on a, on a trip. There's another class of mushrooms that's considered medicinal mushrooms, which is they're edible and, you know, you can consume them and they have medicinal properties, but they're not psychedelic. Gotcha. And uh, you want, for the listeners, you want to name some of those medicinal mushrooms sure. for us? Yeah. Yeah. Some of the, the ones that, that I cover in the book and that my dad has been taking every day, chaga mushroom, reishi, turkey tail is a big one. That's one of the first ones that we got him started on. Um, shiitake is a wonderful, actually a really great one for right now too, because it, shiitake has been shown to be antiviral. So that's a really interesting one to look at. Um, lion's mane and cordyceps and maitake. I believe those are, those are all the, all the ones. And then I do, I do cover magic mushrooms a little bit in the book too, because there's some really interesting things going on in the research with, with psilocybin, which is a compound inside magic mushrooms. But that, that's not the main thing that, um, that we've been focusing on, but it's definitely an interesting one to pay attention to. All right, so you keep bringing up the immune system with mushrooms. In terms of uh, medical marijuana and CBD, where where is the benefit that with this in in cancer patients? Sure. Uh, well, yeah, with the immune system, with the with the cannabis, what we had found with our research into cannabis is that THC and CBD both have properties that have been shown to kill tumors and, and slow tumor growth, and they can help with the immune system. There's not enough research there yet because they can't do clinical trials on cannabis because of the legality. So this is a lot of preliminary research and anecdotal stories. So that's with cannabis. With the mushrooms, all of the mushrooms that I just mentioned, aside from magic mushrooms, but all of the medicinal mushrooms that I mentioned have been shown to have immune system modulating properties. So they don't necessarily stimulate the immune system or, you know, dampen the immune system. They balance the immune system. So they're, they're considered adaptogens. So they can just help keep your immune system in balance. And all of them are, are really powerful for, you know, keeping that immune system strong. Yeah, we, uh, I have a, a patient who, oh, I think he's now 10 years out from uh, stage four pancreatic cancer. And uh, he, we treated him basically with a raw food diet and a lot of mushroom uh, extracts, particularly coleus, um, turkey tail. And, right. Um, He's, uh, like I say, knock on wood, he's cancer free now for 10 years. And oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Now, uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm a huge supporter of, uh, 
you know, using plant-based 